Everybody! Hello everybody and welcome back to Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. The game where you start out confused about who Swampy is, what he wants, and why he wants revenge. And the more you play it, the more confused you get. I don't even know what Swampy is trying to do. He's kidnapped Frogger and Lily Frog's kids and he's going to uh, make a video game about it? Like, I, I don't understand it. Truly I don't, but that's okay. You don't play Frogger 2 for the story, you play it for the gameplay. And we are about to finish story mode today. We are on now. Chapter 8, Trail of Terror. Oh boy, the last three chapters? Let's experience them and finish up the story mode. Swampy has this weird energy field in his rocket ship space station. But Frogger's here. Swampy falls into the energy field. I guess he's dead. That was easy. Frogger reads the blueprints. He's like, no! I gotta go in too! So apparently it's a teleporter. So that's Swampy's house, apparently. Maybe? Possibly? Alright. So, yeah, um... I don't know what the heck the developers were thinking with this story. It's like, okay, Swamp Swampy kidnaps Swampy kidnaps Frogger and Lily Frog's kids. Okay, that's the premise. It's like, then he throws them into Egypt and the underground. They have to go and save him. And then meanwhile, Swampy goes into a rocket ship to a secret space station. It's like, okay, it's like, Frogger and Lily Frog kind of sort of work together to go into outer space, but only Frogger goes into outer space. It's like, okay, it's like Swampy has weird revenge that isn't fully explained. Okay, Swampy activates energy field, which takes him back to Earth for an alternate dimension. I don't really know what the heck we're, we're doing here. Again, d does a very bad job of it explaining that apparently we're back on earth now and yeah this is the last world of the game it is the haunted house world so yeah here we are i think this is swampy's house We've got the pumpkin deliveries swampy are you gonna answer the door the ups guy is here delivering 15 crates of pumpkins and you weren't here to pay for it so what's he gonna do he, he can't keep them in his car so he just left them here did you order jack-o-lanterns pre-carved how lazy can you get just hire Donald Duck to do it for you. He's, he's great at it. Anyhow, we can get quick hop. And there's a ghost chasing us. We gotta get out of the way of that. <laughs> this world actually is get kind of creepy at times. And of course, we still have to get coins. I mean, I guess we don't have to, but I do because I'm a completionist. Ride these coffins. No, they're not coffins. They are logs. We got these... Friendly spiders. The spider friends are back. You thought we left them behind in Hollow Knight. No, they're back. But these guys are much less friendly than the actual spider friends. They will kill us. All right, now I got these ghosts here. They're green, which means they're mean and will cause us to swell up and explode if we get hit by them. We don't want to get hit by them. Yellow Frog opens this gate magically. And now we got here uh, Wallmasters from the Legend of Zelda series. These disembodied hands going around, as well as disembodied feet. You can see where they're going to move based on the trails of dirt in the ground, because they apparently never ever take a bath. Just like Joshua Giraffe. How many get that Raffy reference? Oh no! The Wallmaster touched us and cut us into a million pieces, even though he literally just touched us with his pinky finger. That, that's logic. Also, am I the only one who's noticing, but, um, all of these disembodied hands are left hands. I don't, as a left-handed person, I don't like that. What the heck? I want, in the next Zelda game, forget Wallmasters, I want Footmasters. Disembodied feet. This world is nuts. I love it. Oh, no. That, that ghost is back. Ghosty boy's back. Uh-oh. Uh Ghosty Boy made us drown. I blame Ghosty Boy. Yeah, the teeth! Get out of here! No, ah, no! I just left your brothers behind. Watch out for the rats. We can cross these coffins to the other side. Now we got these suits of armors that will try to hit us with axes. We got bats, we got rats. We got everything in Swampy's creepy old mansion. 
See, this is why Swampy's family stopped asking him to host Thanksgiving. They're like, Swampy, you're a nice guy and all that, and you're you're a great cook, but doggone it, your house is terrifying. When are you ever going to take care of that rodent problem? I'll take care of it later. Not sure why I'm giving him the Watto voice. He reminds me of Watto. Alright, we got all the coins, so now we just have to wait for the second guy to throw his axe down, and we can walk on top of the axe. That's Graveyard Garden. All coins collected, mini frogs available. So now we get to the last free coin rewards in the game, which are special secret features you can access from the option menu. So mini frogs, if you turn it on, will just make your player character really small. Doesn't actually affect gameplay whatsoever. Your small frog will still be able to eat all the same stuff, which can be kind of funny, but it's just a nice little Easter egg that we can turn on. And doggone it, laws. <laughs> Owen Laws just beat my time by almost triple. Yeah, I, I suffered in that level kind of a lot and went slow. I, I had to pause and talk about Swampy's plans a whole lot. And you know how it be? You know how it be? I'm a guy, I like talking about weird things that happen in games. Anyhow, let's head to the next level. Okay, apparently Lily Frog's here. Oh, Lily Frog is leaving. Wait, Swampy's house was right next to the lab all the time? Why weren't we here before? The <laughs> frogger's just like, oh, well, see ya. I guess I'm gonna enter this creepy old house myself. Wow. Okay, so so Swampy's creepy old house, w where his headquarters is, is right next to that NASA center that we went to. Why didn't we just go to Swampy's creepy old house instead of having to go into outer space just to go to Swampy's creepy old house? I don't get it. That's, that's lazy writing right there. And yet Frogger is very, it's like, oh no, my my wife fell down this trap door. Oh well, stuff happens. By wife, I'm going into myself. Frogger says, yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Mm-hmm, yeah, she deserved it, uh-huh. <laughs> So Frogger, do, do you think that your wife has been helping you on this journey or you no, know, yeah, yeah, I think I could do this on my own. Yeah, yeah, no, see, uh, yeah, yeah, you ask me, this game is called Frogger 2, not Lily Frog 2. Frogger should have been the playable character on every level. Oh yes, yes, I do think that. Uh-huh, yes indeed. Alright, Frogger, well, thanks for letting your opinion be known. We take one step in Swampy's creepy old house and half of the floor caves in. This is another reason why you're not asked to host Thanksgiving anymore, Swampy. You haven't you haven't upkept your house in ages. But doggone it, this music is so good. Alright, we got the Wallmasters back. We got the creepy portraits on the wall. Okay, how are we supposed to get back from this? Actually not sure how we're supposed to get back from that without taking a fall. Always wondered that, never known how. Across the platforms they fall, but we get the green frog and they thankfully respawn. Watch out for the jumping pumpkins. They bounce down the stairs, but we can deal. I just realized that those axes, those axes are actually covered in blood. How, how is this allowed in a KA game? This is this was made back in the days when KA was a rating. Also, these ghosts are materializing out of the wall. Apparently, Swampy spilled green paint on the wall, and it's like, oh well, I guess ghosts will come out of here forever now. Swampy's like, eh, that's exactly what I want. Ow! Clean me right in half. Ah, oh, Frogger, are you allergic to ghosts? You should have mentioned that before going into the haunted house. Maybe your wife could have gone in for you, except she's allergic to the ghosts as well. Swampy, how many fiends are living in the, like, in the downstairs area? Like, your floor is caving in and... Dog on it. Your floor is caving in and you're not doing anything about it, which just seems irresponsible. Oh, are you guys ready for a creepy part? So yeah, this blue ghost is terrifying when you're a kid, and ah, the purple frog is teleporting away. Honestly, it's the teeth that do me in. Get back here, purple frog. No! There we are. Yeah, purple frog will warp around a couple times, but it's not too bad. Alright, Purple Frog is done. Oh, secret- oh, sweet. I don't know about you, but it's always been a dream of mine to have a secret room in my house. 
If I build my own house, I'm definitely putting in a secret room that no one knows about. Okay, now we come to this room with this giant fire on the ground. Whoops. Is this like a giant iron pot of some kind? With elevators built in? Swampy, what are you doing in your house right now, bro? What the heck are you doing in your house? I mean, you should be able to do what you want in your house, but this seems a little weird. This... What is this? You've lit your house on fire. You've got rats just running around. Your floor is falling apart. Ghosts are living in your wall, but oh, you're making a giant pot of pumpkin soup. I don't know why the pumpkin soup liquid is green. Is it just start as pea soup, but you're like, oh, I forgot to put in the pumpkins. Is that how it goes? Oh, he, he finally brought his pre-made jack-o'-lanterns in, and then... Sw what the heck? Okay, this is how you know Swampy dumb. Swampy ordered, like, 15 cases of pre-carved jack-o'-lanterns so he could use them in a giant vat of pumpkin soup he was making inside his house for nobody. Like, if you're gonna make pumpkin soup, just get the- you don't need to pay extra just to get pre-carved jack-o'-lanterns. They scoop all the good parts of the pumpkin out anyway. Like, what- I am so confused. Anyhow. Here we are in this giant vat of pumpkin soup. Ah! It's a funny burning animation. Gotta wait for the smoke to go out. And we got all 25 coins! So we get the last frog who is getting cooked in the soup. Thank goodness Swampy put a crate in there for it. me. It's the haunted house. I'm pretty sure this is where Swampy lives. And because we got all the coins, the artwork viewer is now available. Oh no, Sci-Fi got a 2 minute 30 second time. We almost took 5 minutes on that. Almost twice as much time. Haunted House might be my favorite level. I know I I know I talked up the space station a lot. This one is linear, but the theming is kind of unparalleled. The Haunted House is fantastic. It's also challenging, but the right kind of challenging. I, I really like it. Very, very nice level. Alright, we are now on the final chapter. Final level of the game. Let's go. Frogger moves past the giant soup. Swampy, you've got, like, the river sticks in your house now? That's giving me serious Frogger 1 flashbacks of when we were riding logs around. Wow, he kidnapped Lily Frog real fast. Frogger tried to free her, but instead he's trapped now as well. Swampy. Oh no! Frogger, why didn't you let her out of the cage instead of just locking yourself in the cage? One of the frogs got knocked off. So now, welcome to the final level of the game, where Swampy is apparently taking Frogger and Lily Frog's children and turning them into video games? And package- No, he's literally just packaging frogs in boxes, being like, It's a video game! And then selling them. Like, <laughs> what? Swampy, what the heck? I guess that's like one way to get revenge, but like, do you really think people are going to be satisfied customers? They're going to take them back, and you're going to lose your business for false advertising. Anyhow, yeah, Frogger and Lily Fro Frog are both trapped, so now we get to play as Tad, one of their tadpoles, who apparently escaped the conveyor belt somehow. So now, new character, Tad, and this is a very different style of Halloween level. You got these giant, it's basically like we're back in the laboratory levels. And as Tad, we gotta go through here. And this is the one level where we actually don't save frogs. We just have to get to the end. So we super hop around the electricity. And we get sucked up here. Just gotta watch out for this, those sparks. As you can see, they were like the little pink flashing thing. That's when you know the electricity is gonna shoot out pretty quickly. These crushers have holes either in the sides or the middle. So we can use that to our advantage. Quick, we go through there. <laughs> Swampy's laughing at us on the monitors. It's like that um Andy Warhol painting, but Swampy, and they're all the same color. Swampy's a big fan of the finer things in life. Like like frogs that are disguised as video games. I'm very confused. Swampy really didn't think this plan through at all. Neither did Frogger, though. 
So Lily, Lily Frog falls down a trap door, gets caged real quickly, and then Frogger's just like, I'll let you out, but then he just cages himself instead. So he's like, well, at least we'll die together. It's kind of morbid. Oh, that didn't give me the pink spark to let me know. I also love how Tad has like a deeper voice than a lot of the characters in the game. Okay, there we go. We wait this time. Alright, cool. As you can see, the pressure is building. Uh-oh. You don't want to get ground up by the grinders. That would be bad. So Tad's ton is orange. Oh, Tad just got grounded by the grinders. That's not a family-friendly death right there. Especially since he is a baby frog. At least Frog and Lily Frog were adults. Oof. Big, big violence. No, no violence. This is a kid's game. It's K.A. Kids to adults. Um, Tad just jumped into the wall and it made him splat like a pancake, apparently. You know how it be sometimes. Am I right? Swampy the game is kind of collapsing a little bit. I want... Th there was no crusher in the way. Now that the screen's shaking, it can be hard to tell when the electricity is going to come. Gotta watch out for that. Alright. Gotta wait for the electricity pip to pass. Shunk! Uh-oh. Swampy, this is kind of a lot of pressure right now. Gotta say. That's the way out. Swampy's still laughing at us, but the joke's on him. We got all 25 coins, and we out it! Wind up. All coins collected. Feeding Frenzy available. Feeding Frenzy is genuine cheat mode. If you turn on Feeding Frenzy, it's a cheat that literally allows you to eat, like, anything in the game. Like, lawnmowers, enemies, you name it. You can eat it, pretty much. Except for, like, main platforms. Don't use that when you're trying to get the high scores. That's cheating. It's not allowed. <laughs> it trivializes some levels to just be like, Oh, I just have to keep tapping E and the move button, and I'll get to the end, and there's no way you'll ever beat it unless you cheat as well. Good job, Tad! You saved everybody. It's still doing the victory music. There we go. Swampy. Uh-oh. Tad jumps on the lever. It magically goes up. And in the nick of time. Yay! Baby storage. Man, Swampy stole a lot of babies. What the heck? Also, that really... Okay, we're saved! Man, Swampy's... We didn't do that much, but Swampy's factory is now just going to blow up. All we did was push a few buttons. Did he have self-destruct buttons like Doofenshmirtz? Whoa! <laughs> Dang! Tad stepped on a few buttons and it just incinerated Swampy's house. Wow, okay, now it goes back to the victory music. Also, Frogger, Lily Frog, and their kids were definitely we still in the building when it blew up, but then we teleported out. Well, that was some lazy writing, but there we go. That's Swampy's Revenge. That's the whole story mode. Wow. Yeah, the story sucks, but the gameplay is actually really great. <laughs> I, I wonder if anybody actually played it genuinely for the story. They're like, Swampy's Revenge? I gotta know more about this. So Swampy's Revenge, he's like, oh no, Frogger jumped on my head one time. I gotta steal all of his kids. Put them in video game boxes and sell them. Cool, yes, this is a great idea. How could this go wrong? <laughs> also, the final chapter is the good, the tad, and the ugly. <laughs> it's fantastic. Oh, yeah, that's that's the main part of Swampy's Revenge right there. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I forgot how weird this game is in terms of the story. I, thought, I forgot. What the heck? <laughs> Swampy... Swampy's iron brew blew up in like two seconds. <laughs> I, 
kind of want to show Marty the cutscenes in this game. <laughs> I will try to play multiplayer with Marty at some point. Like, she and I actually enjoyed playing the multiplayer of this growing up. Also, fun fact, Marty thought that this game was tougher than the first Frogger. She is objectively wrong about that, but we'll get into that later. Yeah, that's it for the story mode, so I guess all that's left, really, is to uh, keep getting the gold trophies on all of the levels. You have to go back on to all of them, including the Halloween levels. Wind-up doesn't seem like a Halloween level, but it still has the music, so... There we go. So we gotta do the gold trophies. I will show off Mini Frogs and Feeding Frenzy as well. Ooh, one other thing. Yeah, so if we go over to Extras... We can turn Mini... I'm gonna turn Mini Frogs and Feeding Frenzy on just to show them off. Also, we can view the artwork of the game, which we absolutely want to do. Alright, so Frogger 2. So it looks like that's supposed to be Boulder Canyon. And maybe... Pyramid Climb. Okay. Ooh, yep, that's definitely Boulder Canyon. Except the Lily Frog was the one who went there. That's cool. Frogger at Swampy's house. Ooh, Creepy Tree. More Frogger in Swampy's house. These, this is some cool artwork. <laughs> There's an octopus living in the basement. That did not make the final cut of the game. Uh, that's supposed to be the Laboratory and the Infernal Machine. That's, that's cool. This is cool artwork. More machines. Uh-oh. Frogger getting electrocuted. That's not good. That never made the final cut of the game. Was there going to be... Was there going to be an outer space world? There was, already. Was there going to be like an alien world? That's crazy. <laughs> More space fan art. That's pretty cool. Fan art. It's official artwork that they developed. Is that supposed to be the underground area? That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's the ant nest. That's cool. And over there, over here, we got... Um... Oh, the falling logs. Uh, that's for one of them. I can't remember which, though. Frogger. Lily Frog. Oh, she got a guitar. That never actually appeared in the game. Ruby is a kangaroo. Ooh, like, what? Swampy. Oh yeah. Tad. Tad apparently plays the symbols. Tank. Tank is a mechanical frog. He's great. Treeby, my favorite. He's basically Lanky Comb if he was a frog. And he makes the best sound effects. Wart. He's this brown toad. He looks ugly, but he's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming that those are the people who all worked on making Frogger 2. Shoutouts to y'all. <laughs> Thank you for making this game. And look, we're so tiny! Yeah, let's go to training. Yeah, so I skipped past this because I wanted to save Tad as a secret for later on. But yeah, we can play as Frogger, Lily Frog, Tad, Treaty, Wart, Tank, Ruby, or Swampy. I'm gonna play as Treaty. He's my favorite. Boink, boink. He's this wanky frog. He makes, go goofy go makes goofy noises. So yeah, we can eat things like butterflies. So maybe this is not the best level to show Feeding Frenzy off on. But yeah, we just ate something we were not normally supposed to be able to eat. I think we can eat the Swampy Cart, can't we? Yeah, we can eat the Swampy Cart. That's definitely not allowed. <laughs> nice job, Treaty! Training completed. <laughs> but, like, let me show you what happens when you take this on Toad Road. We'll play as... We'll play as, uh, Ruby. I'm not gonna play as Ruby that much. So Ruby's a kangaroo. We can just eat the cars in our way. Like, look at how broken this is. Like, the obstacles can't possibly get in your way if you can just eat them. Also... I want to point out, there is official artwork of a second kangaroo. So Ruby's like a female kangaroo. There is official artwork of a male kangaroo. I don't know his name. He never appears in the game, but he appears in some of the promotional artwork. I don't know what he's there for, but ugh. 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 Everything about Ruby is wrong. Yeah, so that's Mini Frogs and Feeding Frenzy. 
We can also eat stuff in this overworld at, with Feeding Frenzy, which is kind of funny. Yeah, so that's that's Frogger 2. We're gonna keep do we're gonna keep playing. We're gonna get the gold trophies on every level, and then Marty and I will try to play the versus mode. It's actually a good versus mode in this might be better than it is in Frogger 1. I love Frogger 1 multiplayer, but in this there are three different game modes. Two of them are not great, but one of them is very different and it's mm, fantastic. It's like the city trial of Frogger. So, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.